Dear Sweet Faces, I'm Kualis and... Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, pam, <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to a new episode of Let Me Co-Opt. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and hey, subscribe if you haven't. And I will, I will love your face even more. So, Sweet Faces, previous episode of Let Me Co-Opt, we've made tons of progress on next year. And do I, do I love it? No. I adore this. Like, just walking around this place now just puts a big smile on my face because it is not done, but it's almost done. And those particles, I mean, just look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine one thing? Can you imagine this being like fireflies nighttime? That would be snazzy. But anywho, previous episode, we done tons of trees, we done bolly beds, gazebo pagoda. You did kind of explain what it was in the conversation and I did forget about it. And in between episodes, I got some bees over here. However, something has happened to them because previously this was all moist underneath and I did get some honey balls, got some honey out and it's not moist anymore and the bees won't come out. Knock, knock. How do we know that the bees are home? Because, I mean, it's not moist anymore, as I said. There's no bee sounds even. So I guess somebody might have killed them, which puts a tear in my eye. <laughs> but anywho, uh, we did a little helipad, and one of my favorite things gotta be this over here, which I guess technically will be a guest house of some type in the future, or just a little outdoor bar. What else? We do have the speedboat, and this area will be will be expanded upon. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, this over here. <laughs> Look at Fifi. Fifi got a tutu. <laughs> I like this. is great. Fifi is now a little princess. Tango, what have you done? <laughs> But I love this. I love this. This is just great. And also, in between episodes, which I haven't really seen, is that Tango uh, and Bubbles being super busy. Like, they've made, I think Tango made a little tree farm, which I technically would love to touch. But, knowing me and Redstone, I might break it. So, so at, at this stage, there's no rule book. So, I'm not really sure how this even operates. There's some sapling. As you can just maybe just chop, 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 and you can uh, boop, new. I don't know, okay? I will learn this eventually because I need tons of resources. But the cool thing is, as soon as you start chopping this down, there's a little minecart picking up stuff over here and going inside of this building, which is kind of like the, the lumber mill thingy, which, which Bubbles build. And this is super nifty. Like, let me see, where's the entrance? Over here. So you go up here, you go inside of this, and the things just kind of like end up in those little barrels over here. I mean, how, how cool is that? So what do we have? We have spruce, we have a jungle, uh, <laughs> you birch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then we have oak. And then all the saplings go up over here. Like, I mean, that is, that is, that is neat. Nighttime, Bubbles Online, no. Only me and Shashwam. Scary, hairy, Larry. So I was thinking, like, what do we do in today's episode? And I went through some of the comments section from the previous episode, and I'm not sure you guys remember, but maybe it's still on TV, I don't know. But when I was growing up, I watched a lot of a show called Thunderbirds. And some of the comments actually suggested, like, having this helipad open up of some type. Because obviously the Thunderbirds, they live on an island, and there's an island, and having this open up, and stuff underneath, like rockets, ships, I, I, you know what, I, I don't know. It would be a cool idea, however, me and Redstone, you know, like... This is not going to work out. I remember, like, I think it was, like, Cub in season six, it was, where he had, like, this huge area just opened up, like, like, like this. But uh, knowing me, that ain't going to work out. So I was thinking maybe having, like, an area three by three, six by six, and then just hiding stuff underground. I think that might look really snazzy. But in today's episode... I think we need to tackle the Italian village. Because I was flying about, I was like, Mamma mia, it's not done. It's just all those wireframes. And it looks a little bit sad, in my opinion. What is this? Embrace the derp coin. It will bring you many customers. This is, this is where we store our money. And now we just have derp coins. But then again... To be fair and square with you guys, I think we only made one diamond this season, the Big Eye Company. It's not profitable yet, but eventually it will be. 
And that diamond, I think, was from episode one when where James kind of gave us long story, all right? But we had one diamond. And now we have this, the derp coin. But yeah, I was flying about here. I was like, this is so, so sad. Not only that empty jar with some derp coins. I love that. <laughs> I love that face, though. <laughs> My old skin. But just seeing this all wireframed and not done. I think we're gonna start here in today's episode and, and make this a beautiful place for all the Italian people and they will be happy, right? And also I didn't notice this over here, which I haven't seen before. Big Hat Cakes. Welcome to Big Hat Cakes. Come on in and see our cakes. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, but something happened. I'm not sure who made this even, but but uh, judging by the, by, by the hat over here, it might be Scar. But anyhow, back to the objective. Oh, you know what? Kind of forgot to decorate our shops over here. We got this shoppy. We got this shoppy. Don't worry. That's gonna happen. Scary, hairy, larry sound somewhere about. And I'm wondering if this shop has got any jobs. Beat up's perfect redstone service. <laughs> Bless his heart. Ooh. Beat up's. Perfect service request. He might have actually gotten a job. <laughs> oh, well, like lucky somebody, I guess. But uh, but hopefully that's gonna yield a lot of beautiful diamonds into our little jar of income over here, and next to the the derp coin. But as I was saying, let's start over here because obviously this is like a square area. Um, with, with a jar in the middle, which should be maybe a fountain of some type or a tree, but it is what it is. Let's start with this area and let's see where this takes us. So I'm going about trying to buy as many resources as I possibly can to save me from the grind. And I'm over here at Jim's place and I've not been here much, but this has to be one of my favorite bases this season. You might be Kiral's Birch. I know, I know. Despite the birch, this place is just, it's just wonderful. You know me and love trees and bushes and lushiness and this this place is just i don't know, just filled with it just like let me just take a little fly by it just makes me so happy even got this little reindeer that's not a reindeer of course it's a reindeer it just requires a red nose and it's gonna be rudolph for christmas believe me all right but this place pretty it's it's pretty even over here with the greenhouse I've seen this before and I love this so much. Oh, by the way. Hello. You 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 get bees? You got bees. You get upside down bees. <laughs> this is this. Well, obviously it's Halloween. <laughs> I love this. This is upside down Kiralis bees. Who makes sound? I love this. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's upside down. It's so scary. <gasps> oh. Not to mention this. Holy smokes. Is that dog? I love that. That's kind of one of those like futuristic hologram cyberpunky things. And that's the, 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 the goat head. But I'm actually looking for the octagon i'm not sure whereabouts that is technically is it this way there it is boom 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 because i believe they do have logs right they do sell logs and i've got there it is this is i mean, <laughs> I mean what can i say this is amazing like yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm embarrassed showing my base at this stage they do accept i believe derp coin Three diamonds or one premium dirt coin per stack. Let's get uh, one premium dirt coin. So let's get three of those because I do need quite a bit of jungle. And then I would need a cha cha. Chi 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 chi. A cha cha. Let's get three of those as well. The octagon. And what? I've never been here because this is their shop, right? So what exactly do they sell in the octagon? Hello. We have. Derpcon accepted. A a and what is this per se? Oxidized copper. Mmm. I kinda please pay in the barrel. Where's where's the barrel at? Okay, so I'm a little con confounded. Please pay in the barrel. Is it this barrel? Is it like the middle barrel? Where do you pay? Because I need a 
Where was it? The oxidized uh, copper over here. Ooh, premium, premium derp coins. This is expensive. So let's maybe get one and two, 32 of those. And that was four. Oh no. Don't. Okay. Screw it up straight away, right? So that means I take two of those and pay four diamonds. Okay, you know what? Let's go, let's go crazy. Let's go four more. So that's gonna be eight diamonds paid. And the question is, is it this barrel? I'm a, I'm a little bit confused. Let's get eight diamonds in here. And hopefully that's the way. Is it the way? Nobody knows. No, 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 no. That's not the way. That is not the way. Where did I take those oxidized? Over here. I guess that barrel. I mean, they do make a little bit of a hidey spot for it. Now, don't they? Let's get eight diamonds in here, like I saw. Like, you wouldn't really think that is a barrel. But I guess that is a barrel because of... Yeah. But no. No, no, no. That is not obvious. I need to bring that barrel out over here. That would be perfect. So I think I've got everything I need for today's Italian village expansion. But before we start building, let's have some fun. Let's play a little mini game with XB. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Pokehole this way. Hello. Monsieur? Huh? Bonjour, je m'appelle Keralis. And do you sometimes get stuck in a poke hole looking for diamonds? Yeah, that's how it can feel trying to find a new diamond to watch on Netflix. Today's sponsor can help you with that. Hey, make a poke hole! Ho ho ho, with my baguette. Hey, 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 calm down, baguette boy. I'm gonna do a poke hole. ExpressVPN will help you to avoid annoying geoblocks and access streaming content available around the world, giving you more value for the money on subscription services like Netflix. By selecting a new IP address from the network of high-speed servers across 94 countries, you can stream all that you want with unlimited bandwidth, while also staying secure and hiding your true location from online creepers. And their high-speed servers also give me a better connection to the Hermitcraft server so I can play without lag. Take my baguette! I guess somebody is not using ExpressVPN. I myself have been using ExpressVPN for years to stay safe online and catch up on my favorite TV shows like Vikings because the world is changing and we must change with it. Ragnar Lovbrok. Their software is super user-friendly and easy to set up. A single subscription can be used on multiple devices. You can stay safe and access services anywhere, anytime. So sweet faces, if you'd like to try out ExpressVPN for yourself so you can stop making pokey holes and find that diamond, head over to the link in the description to get three months for free. Hey, make a pokey hole! And a one, and a two, and a three, and stretch. And a one, and a two, and a three, and stretch. Hm? Princess. Hi. Hi. You know what? <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? what? I, I admire your resilience. Like, you keep losing hmm. time after time, and yet, I, you keep I, coming I, back for more. For seconds. Do I, do I keep losing? I feel like I've lost twice. The, uh, it might be a technicality, okay? <laughs> but... I am. <laughs> Look into my eyes. I am the undefeated champion of this season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if it stays that way. Yeah. So, so sh shall we head over to the game? Today's game? Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Zombie bumper boats. Right. All so right. There, there is a bug. Uh, don't Go. forget to set your spawn here. And, Ooh, do, and then do, we're going to have to clear our inventory. Do we get naked? Oh, yeah. I kind of feel this is this is this is a, a reoccurring thing with you. You can lure men to get naked every single time. Uh, we do something, all right? This Let was me just... your idea. <laughs> Technically, technically, yes, maybe, maybe. <laughs> How am I luring you when what? it was your Whoopsie. idea? Whoopsie! 
Did I do that? Ooh, I'm joking, but <laughs> told him. There we go. Hi, XB. So basically, like, we could read mm -hmm. the book, but basically what we do is... There's six you, pages you of reading. Here and you, your zombie is supposed to aggro on me because I'm over here where it can see me. Uh-huh. So it's now aggro on me, right? So if you stand over there, this zombie will aggro on you. So you what know he's aggro on you. Is he? And so I would hop in oh. this boat because this one's mad at you. And you hop in that one. Uh, but How do I just click it? Like that? Yep. Okay, I'm in. And then we go out and then we got to swing our zombie. Like I got to try to get my zombie to kill you. And you got to get your zombie to kill me. Can we have a practice round? I, I mean, sure. Easy, steady. So it's pretty much just, just go bashing each other, right? Right. Okay, one, two, and three, and go. So how do oh, I... God, this... oh, what is this oh, middle thing? Is... What does this do, Ugh. XB? I don't know, but I hit it. Oh, I'm, I'm, not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... You know what? I'm not sure I said my spawn points. So, so my zombie should be Jack Probably. killing... Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm cold, <laughs> XB. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> Dang it. This is a practice round, XB. Practice round. <laughs> ah! Okay. I don't find I don't feel my zombie zagging at, at anybody. No, he's mad at me. No, he's not. He's not hitting you. <laughs> he is. No, no look at this. Mad. He's not close enough. <laughs> Here, I'll um, I'll bump into the back of you. Yeah, see, he's hitting me. Ju just stand still. Stand still. I'm just needing to check no, this. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> then if I die, you'll be like, it wasn't a practice run. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, let, let I me know just you all too well. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what that does. That. Okay. that is actually pretty nifty. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Okay, one, one. XB. But why? He shouldn't. XB. Mm. The zombie died. Princess, three, two, uh -huh. one, and go. I'm out. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> oh, oh. I love this. I love this. You know what? I love Tango's brain. I love Tango's brain. This, the game he comes up with are just amazing. However, no, no, I need to win. No. I need to win. Oh, no, no, can, you, no, no. can you just, can you just oh. stand still, XB, for just a no. second? <laughs> That's not a thing I can do. I'm sorry. Why oh, is my... No. I, oh, God. Get out. I get a disadvantage okay. because I'm left-handed, okay? This guy is not no, doing it. No, that's... No, 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 no. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I got a left-handed zombie. <laughs> Which hand does it hold a stick in? A <laughs> left-handed zombie. <laughs> oh, get it. No, 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 no. no mama, no, mama, no. mama, 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 mama. <laughs> mama mia, mama mia, mama mia. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, get him. Get him, zombie. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> How? Back here. Did I? Oh, no. I'm stuck. XP, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, this is not easy. You might, like, the people it's watching this, easy. you might be like, oh no. Nice. That This was the practice round we've been waiting for, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 had but, a practice round. No, already. my zombie died. My zombie <laughs> died on the practice round. Yeah, this is what, since, okay, nil, nil, zero, zero. This is what, that was a practice nope. round. One, Fre zero. <laughs> Okay, three, two, no one, cheating. go. Go. Uh, no, what are you, what are you, <laughs> I saw, what are you trying to do there, Taking Jack? shortcuts. Uh, I got okay. a fast car. Boat. <laughs> I got a fast car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it is really fast. Oh, It is super the snow. fast. The snow is snow, amazing. Ooh, oh, look at this. Me. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, Oopsie. Nope. Oh, oh, hey now. <laughs> human, hu, human error. Cheatsy doodles. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Get out. Three, two, one, go. I'm out. No, 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 no. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, guys. <laughs> and it's not working. All right? Like, how oh, is my oh, guy oh, not hitting oh, you? Oh, you no, get off. Ha have you lost any any hearts at all? Not yet, no. Jeez! Oh, 
Jesus! It's it's not easy to like get him in position. You gotta get like the back of the boat toward me. Like the butt, butt. <laughs> right. Ooh. Oh, see, he got me twice right there. Okay. So, oh, get over know. here. Oh god. No. Yes. Oh yes. dang it. <laughs> okay. The, the zombie's Steven. stuck. The zombie's stuck. Oh god. Go 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 go. Which one? Oh yeah, he's stuck. Get get it, get him out, XP. You saved his life, XB. XB! That's not huh? good. There's nothing huh? I can do about that. Is it just dying? Yeah. <laughs> don't do it, XB. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't let him. Oh. He, I don't think he's he, hitting you. He is. But I'm, I'm oh, dead. Nice. Okay. Oh, God. Kiraz was forced to death by a zombie. How is that even possible? Okay, so so how do we count this? Because I kind of feel like that was a little bit even, Steven. Because you kind of died simultaneously. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, though. You died, which made them aggro on me. Technically, it might be true, but... <laughs> rules <laughs> are meant to be bent. <laughs> No, you know what the thing is, oh, XB? No, 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 no. That you knew uh -huh. the game mechanics from the gecko, from the bat. You knew you had to turn the bat around. And you did not tell me. Because I was because going that's all that's the only way they can hit you. Frontal. I did tell you from the very no, beginning. I was going from the from the front. <laughs> all all the time. <laughs> and you. Oh no 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 Can can you can you both reverse? You can, right? Yeah, you can reverse a little bit. Once again, exploiting the game mechanics, which I didn't know about. <laughs> it's because you're left-handed. That's why you didn't know about them. No! Gotcha! 4-2. 4 It's still trying to get that pity point. That pity point still counts. Oh, get out of there, zombie! Oh, XB. I I I'm doing poorly again, I think. <laughs> How do I... I kind of want to F5 this a lot because <laughs> because of the of the cheaty game mechanics you didn't disclose in the beginning of the of our play session. Cheaty game mechanics. I didn't know it was a thing, but to but. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Okay. Perfect. No. Oh, <gasps> dang it. Oh. If you let my zombie touch your butt, I will let your zombie touch my butt. No. <laughs> oh, now you're sweaty now. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so wh what's the score, XB? 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. This might be... This might be the greatest comeback of all time. <laughs> and... And it's all done fair and square. <laughs> You not disclosing the game mechanics in the beginning gave me that pity point. <laughs> you be left-handed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My zombie's left-handed. Give me a break. This guy. Okay. What you doing? Eating. Oh, that means your saturation is going to be much better. Or XB. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that happened. And a three. And a two. And a one. And go. Okay, I'm stuck in the snow. No, stuck, in the stuck in the snow. Stuck in the snow. Stuck in the snow. You know what? My palms are kind of sweaty now. <laughs> this is this is hardcore. This is like <laughs> the winner takes it all scenario. It is. Oh, I got I got. I think I got a hit. No, no. Get out of the. I think yeah. I got a hit. Get out of oh, the oh. snow. Okay, I'm stuck in the middle. I'm not sure how to get out of his. Oh, hmm, look at this. I got a potion. <laughs> <laughs> I got a potion. I got a potion. Cheaty hacks. No, not cheaty hacks. Game mechanics. Cheaty hacks. This, this, this is not game a mechanic you hacks. didn't tell me about. <laughs> I did too. I had to disclose them <laughs> ages ago. Not that at the beginning of the game. No, I told you I got. I got. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit closer and you never. <laughs> Okay. Drink. <gasps> ah. <laughs> Take a bottle in the face. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh, he coming. No! <laughs> Oh yeah. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. I'm lost for words. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. You had a really good comeback. To me? I I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I I mean this belief. I'm gonna get part this guy and I'm gonna fly, fly right home without even talking to you anymore. <laughs> Now we're just even for the season, though. You think you can defeat the undefeated champion? Just like that, <laughs> with cheated game mechanics. Not disclosing that. get this guy back in? Uh, no, I will. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to be a sore loser, because obviously I'm not. Mm -hmm. But I can't let you win that, that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you even had a potion. No, because ever since I, I, I won... Ever since I won the last time on the on the Spleef Arena, you've been mm -hmm. sad. You've been very short <laughs> in your in your Discord messages. I kind of been feeling like you've been down. And, and right. And I talked to to wifey right, and I said, should I let him win? And she was like, Yeah, that would be maybe for the best, just to kind of keep your friendships go a friendship going. And that's what <laughs> I did. That's what I did. Get out of the boat. I don't I don't feel like wifey's a let him win kind of person. I think that potion hurt me. I think it did. I think it might hurt left-handed people. <laughs> it's a it's a right-handed only potion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why have not seen this? Clear's bodybuilding sponsored by. See, I've... maybe this is what you gotta get prepared for our next battle. She can train you. Oh, like I have a oh. tiger. Ooh. Right. Some Rocky dum, Balboa action dum, going on. Dum, 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 mm -hmm. dum, 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 dum. See you, XP. Next time. Bye. What is your favorite scary movie? You know, you know what? I feel robbed of that victory. Like, with a few pity points, that should have been mine. But anyhow, enjoy the time lapse. Mamma mia, bellissimo. Okay, it's not done, but at least we have a facade or a front towards the, the square. And to some, this might be a huge mess of colors, blocks, shapes, and whatnot. But like when we started off doing this, we kind of aimed for the Luca, the Disney movie. And I mean, the movie itself is super vibrant. So I, I'm loving this like little balconies, like quirky shapes all over the place. And those bushes, I mean, love. I love them so much. Like, Oh, they just, I mean, just pops. They just pop and look absolutely amazing. So the sun is going down, so I'm going to be turning off the shaders very, very soon. And we're going to go on the inside because, well, it's not really done. Like, it's pretty much like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't judge this, okay? It's, it's going to be pretty. This is going to actually be two buildings, separate buildings out of this. It's going to be like a super thin building. But what I was thinking about the blue building, we might actually take that blue building and take it out on that side as well. Somehow, in a world where one man is trying to build an Italian village. But that is that is the whole purpose of this. And like bottom level will be like shoppies. Uh, like here we're gonna have like some vegetable, maybe some books, or maybe even have a little bookshop over here. I know Bubbles done a bookshop. Nope, he's just selling bookshelves, which is just great for us because then we can just move in all. Let me just let me just remove those so we can see the square in its full beauty. Like so, like so. Let's get the bed. Okay, spawn point gone. If I die, I die. 
no respawn points, I guess. So yeah, bottom level, we're going to have like uh, shoppies, restaurants, obviously like those fin buildings will be interested to like apartment buildings or like housing buildings and whatnot. And yes, I did turn off the shaders because it was getting super framey, but I love this. I, I, I Let me just, let me just fly a little bit. Just envision this for the future. I think it's going to like having like all those streets looping around in between the buildings. It's going to like, especially like, like this, you can see, you, you can see it kind of over here, right? How it kind of goes in. It's going to be pretty much the same. <laughs> this is kitty. It's kitty girls. It's going to be pretty much the same over here, like in between buildings going up and, 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 and yeah. I love those little balconies. Now we just need to kind of figure out where we're going to have the staircases going up uh, well, on the, on the inside. But, but that is doable, right? And uh, yeah, we do have this little small space where we can build a shoppy. Then on the side building, this actually goes into that, on top of that building. There's going to be a staircase going up here in the back somewhere about. But uh, that's what I love like about like those old towns because you can have like, you know, there's buildings merging into other buildings and, you know, you knock down a wall here and expand that building and, and so on. Just seeing this maybe like a little bit fishing vessels in the harbor later on and maybe we can move the jar eventually and have a little fountain or a tree over here hello Tee. okay don't blame me that idiot just died by himself all right so yeah you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it i i'm in love i think this has tons of potential for the future just envision this with like fishing vessels, I don't know, trees, bushes a little bit here and there. I think this is going to look absolutely snazzy. But what goes for today's episode, there's one more thing which I, boo, want to do. So I heard that over here in the town of the boat and people, there is stuff to be obtained for Halloween. And, okay, I think it might actually be this. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me just land. That is actually an AFK pearl. What is she holding? I'm not sure. Is that a llama hat? It might actually be a llama hat. I think she's AFK, so let, let, let her just be. So, so what is this? This is pretty much, want an accessory? Find a moonkin pumpkin around the bottom and trade. So what do we do? We find those monkeys somewhere in the Botham town, which I have not found one. Is that how it goes? That can't be that easy. You have not really been here uh, in forever. And I see stuff. <laughs> look, at, look at Bumble. <laughs> and Green. And even Pearl built a whole mountain. And I'm kind of like curious what that is. If that is on hat. Because if that is the case, I want one of those. I totally want one of those. So I do see this Moonkin. I also see that Moonkin. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab one or two Moonkins and trade them in for some hat accessories for Halloween. Got him. So what I do, I just put this Moonkin in here. I put in this over here. Okay, so basically... This is just a collection point. I don't think it's kind of like a, like a redstone contraption. So what I will do, I will take... Oh, okay, that is how it works. Got one more. Okay, <laughs> this one over here is a little bit dangerous. So maybe I'm not going to touch that. I <laughs> like Bodo. <laughs> this is such a crazy place. So I would need two more to get one of each accessory. And that is something I really want to have. Okay, I see one more. So that means I'm going to take this one. Ba-boom. Get rid of this one. Ba-boom. And uno mas. And I will get myself two accessories. Okay, this is insane. This is so, so neat. Oh, wow. Okay, that is such a cool way to go about doing a sky with stars. That is beautiful. Okay, just envision this being totally enclosed and just looking up at the sky. You spoopy. <laughs> spoopy. I'm spoopy. Uh, okay, one Moomkin. Come on, you can do this. There's one at the entrance to the thingy, but I'm not sure. Oh, that I see. I see. I see one. I see one. I see what get that which means now I technically 
Why is why is Jem being green? Or maybe that is her uh, her outfit thingy. Okay, so now I myself got two more boob kids. I've put in two before. I will throw those four in and I can buy myself the pumpkin antennas. Got them. And I will also get myself this little pumpkin dude. <laughs> there we go. So how does this work? I guess that is just... <laughs> and this guy, is that also... Oh, you can just change him. Okay, look at this. <laughs> this is great. Look at us. We are beautiful. And then we have this over here. It's a little dude just sitting about. But I got I to gotta give it up for the, for, the, for the pumpkin antennas. This and Halloween is, is amazing. Sweet faces, I think this is going to conclude today's episode. I Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you think about the Italian expansion, all right? And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of... I'm equipped. Uh, I do have plans for the next episode. So hopefully we can complete that within the week, all right? So uh, see you. Have an amazing Halloween. And what is your favorite scary movie?